Hey everyone, it's Mary Eckert, uh, founder of Global Waterworks, and I'm here with Frank Slovenic, who's joined me as uh, head of strategy and operations for our team. Frank, what's hello, happening in your end? <laughs> yes, we're going to take a tour of the of the group of the whole uh, community because we've been asked by a number of people. Wow, there's so much going on here. So let me share with you uh, what we see happening right now. And uh, so you can get acclimated to the community very, very easily. Just see once you log in, if you, uh, and logging in, all you need to do is enter your email. Uh, this community is free uh, to everyone who's interested in water and making a difference and finding um, fellow uh, peers who share their interest in making a difference in water. Um, when you log in, you'll see the discovery. Uh, I'm gonna just stop that. <laughs> So, um, but um, the hello, hello, that's cute. Um, just stop share. Oh. Hey everyone, it's Mary Conley Eggert here and I'm joined by Frank Slovenic. Frank, what do you say to the crew? Hello, hello, it's great to be here with Mary and, and going through a tour of Global Waterworks Connect. Yeah, let's get started uh, because you've all been asking us what is all in here? It's pretty amazing. Uh, we're thrilled uh, to see so many members. And when you log in, you'll see the members who are right near you. So you can engage with, uh, with those who are, uh, understand your local interest with water. But you can also uh, just scroll down and see the groups, um, interest areas that you might have in plastics or pollution, atmospheric water, corporate sustainability, women in water. And of course, the next gen um, is a, key area of interest for many as uh, we know the future depends on that water workforce that's uh, getting involved today. Um, we're thrilled Frank was actually uh, featured this week and we every week you can look forward to finding out what's new in the community. Uh, we'll do a summary for you and uh, last week was Elise Soli who's a leader in energy transformation and helping us figure out the financing and investment opportunities in water and uh, this past week, we were on with uh, the future water leaders and uh, uh, learned about the Nature Conservancy game to engage people in water. And uh, last week, we learned we were recognized by the Global Water Partnership as one of those who are game changers in the industry. You can find out why and learn all about our mission by clicking through on this link. Uh, but I wanted to point out some things that you'll want to do when you come into the community. Explore the events. Uh, many uh, organizations offer free events. Uh, we list them here. We also list those that are for fee. And check out the members in the same specialty area. You can also find this on the left-hand scroll bar. And uh, I'm very excited that coming soon, we will actually have uh, the most sought after um, initiative in water, which is all the technologies, people who are innovating in uh, atmospheric water, collection systems, the digital transformation of utilities. So uh, that'll be uh, coming live August 18th as a, will, a special event that we're having, a group collaboration. Uh, Frank, what have I missed? Well, Mary, you know, there's a couple of things. Going back and looking at the members, one thing that's very interesting, if we look at the members that just joined in the last few days, we find professor, professors from India. We find, we find the dog barking in the background here, but we, that's virtual meeting time. It's enthused, so, right, okay. okay. We, we find professors, we find leaders from all over the world joining. What, make, what the point there is, which is very important, is that when you join, fill out your profile, because then you can find, we can find the right groups for you, the right specialties for you, and certainly can align you with the right experts. Yeah, Simon did just that. How great. You know, he's a master's student at the University of Waterloo, a leader in innovation. He stops focus on forest hydrology. Gosh, people often forget trees make a huge difference in enabling efficient water management, literally releasing water into the air. So thank you, Simon, for that great example as we pop through here, and you too. Omar for sharing why you're here because then people can in fact uh, connect with you more easily and I, I think uh, uh, we, we have leaders as Frank said um, R. El Kitabi has shared his whole presentation on the future of water management and you can see the activity of members and R is actually over at the EPA right now 
um, AR. So he, uh, he's uh, there as a resource for us to let us know what's going on with the EPA. And he shared his amazing dissertation on uh, the very important initiatives we all take to manage demand for scarce water resources. So if you're looking for experts, if you're looking for uh, research um, and uh, wanting to make yourself known and share what you've been doing, we invite everyone to participate here in Global Water Works. And if you can't find something, it's always easy to just do a search in, um, uh, in the community for a topic that's near and dear to your heart. And you've got to be a better typer than I am, but, um, but you can uh, find things just by going in and uh, searching and asking for uh, what the community has served up recently and then browse and uh, learn on your own or uh, meet the people who have been excited about the same things that you're uh, you're looking at and this digital twin work group is a great place to get started but uh, you will see related oh. posts all the time so you can learn more but um, Frank I'm just Maggie just keep I don't know what's going on here but Somebody's probably yeah. <laughs> so we lost Frank, but uh, you've got the picture. You're on your own in the community, but we're also here to help. And uh, the last thing I'll just share is uh, the ambassador uh, that are available for you. Uh, you can always tap uh, the ambassadors in the community. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Mary. I, you know we've got a lot. We've got a lot of new members to to Global Waterworks Connect, and we're somewhere in the neighborhood of eight hundred and fifteen or sixteen. And people keep asking, "What's in here?" The the site is so robust. I think it'd be a good idea to give a tour. Oh, I think that's awesome, Frank. Yes, let's just go right there. And I want to show folks what's going on in Global Water Works Connect because it is really designed to be all about you. And if you look at about Global Water Works, this is sort of what you'll find when you log in or when you find us at first on the web. It's a community that says we're connecting drops of interest for waves of impact. It tells a little bit about who we are, how many members, but once you log in, which is Cool, you get actually get access to uh, passionate water leaders all around the globe. And I encourage you to uh, check out uh, just our home section. You'll see folks like I mentioned, Felicia Marcus, head of the, former head of the California Water Board, amazing knowledge resource and good friend of Global Water Works. Uh, she's just transferred over to uh, uh, the Stanford Woods Institute or working on Water of the West. And you can stay up surprised of people like Felicia by uh, staying in the community and connecting through the community. And uh, the discovery section is an easy way to get a full overview of what's going on. And uh, what we have here is uh, the members near you that you will see first. So if you don't see someone near you that's shared your passion for water, we encourage you to invite them. Just click up here on the plus button and you can invite them with a code that will go back to you and actually give you credit for your invites and make you a bronze or a gold ambassador before you know it. Um, Frank, tell us about the groups. I know you get really excited about the groups. The groups are at our core. And before I go there, talking about the members, it's, if you look at the members, it is pretty stunning when you look and you see professors and, and doctors and engineers and water experts, water people who are just interested in water and, and from all over the world that are members. Mm -hmm. uh, you get inside it. But the key there is, is that when you become a member, fill out your profile. Mm -hmm. That will allow us to get a better look at you, certainly, and be able to formulate and put you in groups that make a lot of sense because we understand what your interest is or what your background is. Uh, yeah, and Simon did a perfect job here. He shares who he is with brief introduction so that everyone can find out but it yeah. would be totally appropriate. He's from the University of Waterloo, leaders in water uh, innovation. And also he's working on forest hydrology, a very cool area that is um, um, 
relevant to water. Most people don't know our trees are one of the most useful tools in water management because they both uh, capture water, but they also release it to, like in the Amazon rainforest um, to make it available to others. Um, so uh, very cool, Frank. I think uh, you're right. It's all about the people in the community, but uh, we want to make it easier for you to find people too. So we feature uh, a spotlight on a person it happens to be Frank this week because he also shared a great story in a um, blog post and hub pages. And uh, you'll see if you cross over uh, recent items that we think are relevant to everyone in the community. And here's Frank's article, which you can like and share. And it's got a bunch of stats related to uh, the water industry and what we're working to solve here. And uh, you can Let's go back to groups just for a second. Yeah, okay. The core of, of Global Waterworks Connect is groups. Think of it this way. If you walk into a, of course we're in, we're not doing this today, but if you walk into a stadium, it's very difficult to meet many people when there's thousands of people around you. But what we wanna do, in, and we've done in Global Waterworks Connect is made a, a series of small groups around certain interests. Each group has an expert, and when we go into collaboration, each one of these group topics would have a facilitator. So going back to the importance of you filling out your profile, we could then direct you to the right group. And there's many groups. And if you don't find one that, that suits you or is, a, is really within your interest, send a chat to Mary or I, and we'll figure it out for you, and maybe even start a group. Right, right. I mean, you actually get access to start a group if you invite 50 or more of your closest water friends. Uh, we would love for you to do that. And uh, as Frank said, uh, the core is acting on groups. So we have women in water, corporate sustainability, atmospheric water, a totally new area where we have the first atmospheric water uh, user group. And uh, moving on, uh, events are a key part. Uh, we have folks who are curating the events and can um, um, you can sign up for any through the links provided here. And you'll see they're like um, one a day. There's no short of events in water. And we also invite you to post your events so that members can take advantage of them. And uh, as you have uh, insights or case studies, uh, that contributes to the knowledge base of the community and uh, you can list them simply by clicking on the plus button and adding a quick post or an article or a poll and, uh, and uh, doing that based on um, your knowledge of the relevance to the community. We, of course, uh, um, aren't selling things here. We're educating and sharing knowledge that's based on facts. And so uh, we- Mary, that's like, so important. Yeah. People have to understand we are a community, that your participation is critical to make the community grow and go. So putting your articles in, making comments again with articles, interacting with various people, getting people, getting involved in groups, that's what makes the community go. Yeah, speaking of making the community go, a monthly collaboration ensures that you all get access to uh, uh, meet your members, meet your fellow members. And we've had some amazing sessions. You can see the summaries of past sessions and actually hear what others have said, which is really a cool part of the community. All big hearted water enthusiasts who uh, um, have great ideas and have different teamwork styles. And we've actually provided training on how to be a great collaborator, thanks to Stephanie Smith. So uh, the collaboration helps us navigate as she shared. And uh, with that, we'll just close out for today and just say, thanks for joining us here. We hope you all yep. come back and um, Frank, anything else? We're a community. Contribute, and it'll make it work. Thank you. Yep, and we'll change the world, uh, connecting drops of interest for waves of impact with your help. Thank you. You're on. Mary, I'm great to see you this morning, by the way. So we've had a lot of new members. We're up to 115 or 16 members in Global Waterworks uh -huh. Connect. One of the questions I get on chat quite a bit is how do I really understand everything that's on the site? There is so much here. Let's take them through a tour. 
Oh, what a great idea, Frank. And welcome everyone. We're delighted to show you the way around uh, the Global Waterworks Connect um, community. It's um, 820 strong right now. And uh, as Frank said, there's a lot here. When you arrive at home, um, you'll see the latest post. And here we have uh, one from uh, Ragad who joined us from India asking about a demonstration, a simulation for IFAS. And uh, what's beautiful is that he gets a few examples here. And uh, Donna, who's a great curator in the community, actually brings up a, a model that he was looking for provided by Evoqua. And so if you're looking for technology, if you're looking for anything, the community is just a great place to go to, um, to actually uh, dig in and see what's happening. And uh, uh, what is beautiful too is that as you go down the side, you will learn more about um, the community. And here I'm looking at uh, the discovery section, which basically summarizes everything. The members near you who um, maybe, um, maybe you'll see someone you know, maybe you'll see people are missing and you can easily invite anyone to the community by clicking this plus sign um, and simply clicking invite and you'll get a, a little, um, invitation you can send right there to the email they know or you can grab a link to share it with people but uh but the community is designed to be a mechanism for you to help yourself and to engage with others and frank i know you're a big fan of what the groups do in the community you want to talk about that the value yeah. of groups the groups are the, really the core of the community so you'll see as you walk through all the groups the different topics you can see are plastic and Pollution, the next generation, AWG, Atmospheric Water Generation Group, which is a new new group and it's taking off. And certainly there's a lot going on in AWG. And that's a place to be if you're interested in AWG. Corporate su sustainability leaders, on and on. And there's many more groups than certainly that we're showing you. The key is, is the core of the community are the groups. So when you fill out your profile, advertisement, please fill out your profile that we can then direct you to a group that is interested, that's interesting for you. You can look through the groups and join groups. Many things happen when people in groups start exercising the community by can, having conversations. Technologies come together for solutions, people get, get solutions for what they're doing, and people just have their interest quenched. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Yeah. And I know uh, we were looking at what's featured too, Frank. You happen to be featured this week. Tell us why. <laughs> this is interesting. So this, I've, I have written a number of articles that I post on Hub Pages. And, and so I wrote one this week around drinking water, which that article is also in uh, the, the community. So that's why I was favored by being, being you know, featured, which you'll see across the features here the featured articles, which go on and on, and you'll find something in here. I have to guarantee you, if you drink water, and that's the only interest you have in water, you will find something in the features that will interest you. You can see them, and they go on and on and on. This is a very one, wonderful and key part of the community. Yeah, and I just want to take a, a, a moment to acknowledge, we were thrilled to be recognized by the Global Water Partnership. Yeah. They identify Global Water Works among 300 change makers. And if you're wondering what we're about, we've sort of shared the whole application we provided to Global Water Partnership and a, a description of our journey and uh, what we're designed to accomplish. And many of our partners are referenced in here. So it's a really been cool to work with all of you and, uh, and uh, you can click through and learn about who Global Waterworks is because you are now part of it if you're in this community watching this video. So we really appreciate that. And, um, and Frank, anything else to, um, to share there? All interesting, you mentioned members and, and certainly the background on members and the engineers and professors and experts and that have joined the community, government officials, um, investors, innovators, uh, huge with water, water change makers. And this is yeah. what the community is all put together. Right, and Roland, who's running the Atmospheric Water um, Group, actually leads Atmos Water, has been uh, helping to guide those discussions and to bring 36 um, years of experience of monitoring that profession 
and that area of innovation. Um, upcoming events too is a key area. Uh, if you're wondering how to get educated, what's going on, there's nearly an event a day uh, due to the help of our curation. And you're also invited to share events. Simply click the plus button and post uh, your event to the community with details on how people can uh, participate. And uh, we um, also have top posts to make it easy for you to see uh, what's been getting attention. Uh, typically, everyone wants to know, what do you want to get from a community of peers? And a quick survey of a recent post suggests that people want to know about technology. They also want to be inspired a network and uh, just be uh, in the midst of people who care as passionately as you do for a water. And uh, you can also search content by the different topics and um, you know, drill in deeper to find out about uh, those things you care about. And uh, I've been going down through this discovery session uh, because it's all uh, easily seen if you're in the discovery side, but you can also click through and find um, members by um, those who are newest so that you can welcome them for uh, the hosts of the community. And there's a special area uh, where we acknowledge ambassadors and every one of you can be an ambassador simply by inviting two of your favorite water entrepreneurs to, to follow you into the community. And that will get you a bronze star. You'll see we have three golds. Wow, I, it's new gold with Apollo Reddy and Dreddy. He runs the India Youth for Society, a massive plastic and pollution cleanup effort. And then um, Margaret Mena, who's uh, doing initiatives in Kenya. Elliot, who's uh, doing renewable energy and water. Anthony out in Ohio. And here's Frank, who's uh, advocating um, for um, water change and investment. And um, Arthur, who is um, active in Germany, showcasing uh, technologies. And just want to give another shout out to Stephanie Smith, who's been hosting our collaboration sessions and actually manages the water at the was the uh, Alliance for the Great Lakes Operations Head and is now handling uh, water in the Great Lakes of Africa. If you didn't know, there are also Great Lakes there, like Lake Victoria. Mary, as you mentioned, it, it brings to mind just a, that we are now represented, I believe, in 41 countries and 36 states in the United States. Yeah, it's really incredible. And we're delighted wherever you're from, there's going to be someone near you or a topic of relevance to you that's already been discussed here. And uh, we've been growing for two years, just started growing at 15% rate. Uh, as I said, you can be recognized and thanks a shout out to Christine and Philip and Nellie and Melissa, who's going to be featured. And this is the last thing I wanna bring up for this uh, special, event uh, on the horizon, our global member collaboration this August 18th. Hope you'll join us for that and you will meet Melissa and uh, probably 880. We'd love to have all 800 of the members here uh, join in, uh, but we'll be on a Zoom call and you'll see what uh, looks very uh, familiar to all of us these days, uh, your face-to-face -face members and hear their heart for water and the specific areas that they're involved with. It's all about uh, understanding we bring unique capabilities and even teamwork styles, but together with the Digital Collaboration Hub, we can all navigate to a brighter water future. And Frank, that reminds me, what's our slogan here at Global Waterworks? Drops of interest for waves of change. Yep, for waves of impact. And we will waves just keep that of... happening. So we're connecting all of you, hopefully for the greater good and for your joy and uh, hope that you'll help us connect with those people who may not know about Global Waterworks community yet, uh, because all are welcome. Thanks again. And uh, again, Frank, Mary, we'll go ahead, ask me that again, Mary, so you can cut this out and put in the right thing. Yeah, okay. So, so Frank, again, um, you know, I won't be able to because of the, um, the video connection. So let me see, where were we? Um, you can we do were it right here. It we'll, we'll start on this part. So right, okay. We're talking through here and as I get down to the end, okay, so I'll say, um, start here. So, um, so like I said, uh, 
we will be convening all the members for a Zoom meeting and you'll get face to face with experts around the globe who share your passion. And uh, each one of you has something unique to offer to ensure Global Water Works. And uh, we share our, your enthusiasm and hope that we can support uh, your efforts because uh, what's our goal here in the end, Frank? Drops of interest for, for waves of impact. Yep, so that's what we want to do, connect you for that. And uh, the collaboration through the community does help us navigate. So I'll uh, see you online here uh, very soon. Thanks for joining us. And uh, Frank, thanks for um, reminding us it's a good time to do a tour. And you're always welcome. So, so Good. I think we have enough of the right stuff there to, um, yeah. to clip it and uh, um, 